Check us out on Patreon, guys, where we give you our exclusive access to all of our videos, 186 videos and counting. We just updated it. That's why I know how much, how many videos is on there. Bangers, too, though. <laughs> Bangers. You know, nothing too shabby. I mean, I don't know, like a Led Zeppelin marathon. We got Metallica mm -hmm. on there, some yep. Mega F stuff. You know, I'm just saying. Just throwing that out there, man. So if you're interested, definitely check that out, guys. The link for that will be in the uh, description. What's up, guys? Your boys are back. I'm Ryan, my man, George. What's happening, guys? How y'all living out there, man? Shout out to the free thinkers, man. All right, man. So it's been a little while, right, since we gotten back to Opeth. I think the last Opeth we did, was that when we did the tournament, man? The um, Blackwater Park uh, versus, I think we did well, a I think we song. did, was it Deliverance that we did from Opeth? I know we did Blackwater, in that tournament you're speaking of. I think right. we did Blackwater Park. I think we did... Deliverance? No, no, we did something from their new album um, that we put out. Uh, let me look it up right now. Damn, we don't even know. Clearly, it didn't make playlists. I know. <laughs> At least didn't stay on there. It was, um, it was something else that was a dignity. Is what we did. Dignity. Yeah, dignity. that was two years ago. Damn. Two years ago, man. And then Black uh, Bleak was three years ago. Mm -hmm. Ghost of Perdition, we did that. That was four years ago. Uh -huh. I think that might have been the first song we did. Ghost of Perdition. I think so. Yeah. Deliverance was in the tournament. Blackwater Park was in the tournament. That was yeah. those are both two years ago. And uh, Blackwater Park is just in a whole that of fame. That was out of here, man. Yeah, I, even still from time to time, I bang that. That is such a great song. And that's probably one of the only songs that's over like the 10 minute mark, nine, 10 minute mark yeah. that I listen to, um, or at least I go back to, that I go back to pretty often outside of Tool. I really enjoyed Bleak too. Bleak was good mm -hmm. from what I um, remember. And we just think this band is incredible, man, because they're, they're uh, this sort of this pro progressive a uh, death metal type yeah. band. Yeah, man. And um, one of those bands, man, I think that's always a good story on the channel because it's just way, just they're just way, 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 or were, they were way out of our wheelhouse. And yet they still won us over because we just really appreciated the skill and then just their, yep. their ability to create yeah, great, great music. So we are well overdue, man, to get back to Opeth, man. So let's get to it, man. This is a, this is a request that's been going on for a while. And there was one particular person, I forgot the person's name i'm sorry man shout out to you he's been going hard for this for a while but this outside of that person there's been way there's been so many other people that have been wanting us yeah. to get this specific song done on youtube on patreon on instagram follow our instagram by the way def to radio d-e-a-f number two radio that's our new instagram no longer lost in vegas but just on all of our platforms that have been wanting us to do this song this is this has been a big request so let's get to it getting back to the mighty opeth harlequin force into the such a uh, sophistication with their music man they create such a dark um a dark sort of uh, a spooky atmosphere but it's also just it just it bangs out too you know yeah, it just has this sort of do. this rocked out banged out feel to it so it's progressive you know they um it's, it's composed very well in terms of how the music progresses mm -hmm. but it rocks out it does and it has a spooky atmosphere all in the same the same sort of vein it's just it all it kind of checks a lot of boxes you know, um, as you listen to it. It's just always impressive. Regardless, even if I don't like the song, and I yeah. like this so far, by the way, but even if I don't like the song, I'm always impressed by Opeth, man. What do you think about that run? That, that I'm going to call it the Black Water Park kind of run, that boom. I thought it was going to like, you know, be identical to the Black Water Park kind of run. Yep. But, but do you like that? I mean, mm -hmm. I, I like the way that sounds. And that's, I don't that's know their if, signature, that's for sure. Yeah. Do you think that's uh, like going to be like their signature going forward no matter what we listen to? It has been. I think they've done that in every song. Yeah. They've done they've done riffs like that. I think they've done riffs similar to that. I think if I'm not mistaken, I think in Bleak, maybe even Ghost of Perdition, definitely Blackwater Park. Yeah. I think that's just that. That's an Opeth 
signature, man. But yeah, yeah. man, liking it, man. Yeah, it sounds so good. It sounds so good. <laughs> sounds so good. good. <laughs> sounds good so far. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Let's uh, let's get back to it. Just wasn't this growl fest, you know? They, they gave touches of, of the growls in there. Mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. What, what did you say? <laughs> they transitioned into the growl with the growls, like, <laughs> and then they <laughs> but they placed the growls there and they let the music sort of uh envelop you and take over for a certain period. They stopped the growls so they know when to come in and how to place these growls. I don't like the way the shit sounds, but I like how they um they don't seem to it's not an over abundance of it, it doesn't seem like this continuous barrage of just growling without understanding placement and understanding when to ease off of it and let the music take the, the front stage of it. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. that's that's what at least uh, I'm, um, what I'm getting out of it, man. I just didn't feel like you know, when we listen to Cannibal Corpse, it's just growl, growl, yeah. growl, 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 nonstop. You know, they know when to ease off of it, let the music take over, and then they know kind of, kind of when, what, what, how to pick their spots with, yeah. with their growls very well, I think. I think I'm at the point now, George, in my metal journey as it pertains to progressive metal, I think the transition game, they have to rock you into it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because uh, progressive is very famous for those odd time signature types of things which sound abrupt to me at times. Mm -hmm. So in order for me to uh, really, really like it, I feel like it has to be transitioned in a way that is um, groovy. I've always said in the past when we've listened to these transitions and how it's done because of that odd time signature thing, it's, I've always said it's kind of choppy, abrupt. I've used words like Comes that. out of nowhere. Right, I've used words like that. And um, for me, I think what, um, what really uh, illuminates the infatuation for people like Opeth and Tool for me is I think the way that they do it. I think when they came out of the Opeth run here, the one we call it the Opeth, the dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and then they kind of used the growl and dun, 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 dun. The way that they transition into that, uh, the way that they execute their transitions, 
out of that um, time signature choppiness, yeah. I'm gonna just call it. I got you. It's very smooth. It's like a transition within a transition is the way I, that, that's probably the only way I can kind of articulate that. I think for me personally, for me to really like love the song, I, I, it, the, the transition needs to be groovy for me to be like, man, that's just so, it's, it's just a smoothness to it. Yeah. I just think that they have a smoothness in how they did it. I just think that, that that's just fire, man. All right, man, let's get back to it, digging it. That part right there is the example. They come out of that, you know, uh, one groove, and the way that they transition you into that is butter smooth. It's butter, not butter, butter smooth. <laughs> it is so fucking smooth. So for me to like it, it's just got to be smooth like that. It's just, it's just a smoothness to it that, that just you can't fuck with. Not, not a lot of bands struggle with that, in my opinion. It's yes. just, you just can't fuck with that. That, yes. That's what makes Opeth Opeth. That's what makes Tool Tool. That's what it make, what makes you know, them high level, man. Yeah, man. You know you what know. I'm saying? Because that odd time signature shit. The bottom line is when I first heard that shit, I was like, yeah, nah, I'm not. I can't. I, it's just not fly enough. It's just not smooth. But they smooth this shit out. It's butter smooth, man. It's just butter smooth. And that's all I'm gonna say. I'm done for the video, bro. Let, let, let Damn it the video. All right, man. Let's out, <laughs> let's get back to it. <laughs> Eternally helpless, weak in the light, depending on the friend's stock. Facing deserted roads to find a seed of hope.
I know I said I wasn't gonna say anything else, man, but dude, um, another thing that I love about Opeth Men is they show you the entire repertoire, right? Which way do you want it? You know, you want the harsh, uh, metaled out, progressive metal, screams. I can sing too, you know, I, mean? I can give you a, a good melody, good soft tone. Now I can trans we can transition into this um the way that they transitioned, I thought was a little lengthy. I thought that was a little long for my taste, but I still think it was excellent the way that they did it. But this part right here sounds like a different song. So I guess that's the Harlequin Forest part of the song. But I love that they can give you different looks. I can give you different um, looks to how I'm able to construct my music. It's beautiful. I really, I really like the first part. And I really like this part too, equally. Mm -hmm. It's just different, but I do equally like it. I agree, my man. Let's get back to it. I want to say, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Mm. <laughs> I got the ship. I'm gonna kill you on the mule. Yes!
shit mm-hmm. play out. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. now, it was it has been there's been so many times mm. that we could have stopped this song, man. But damn, that was nice. Let's let's get through it. Let's get through it. There's a lot I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why yeah, let's let's just run it back, man. That's, that's all we got. Let's just run this shit back. I'm gonna mute the shit. <laughs> I feel like he hit that dude with his hand. Put the stick down, Nick. The fucking path, man. Mm. They, they, that was incredible, man. That, I mean, there's so much I wanted to say, man. And so many times I wanted to stop it, and I know we did stop it a couple times, so I apologize. But I wanted to make sure that we got through it and and got the song in its totality, man. So there's so many things I want to say, but but in the spirit of being concise, they're just the truth. I really the whole truth and enjoy, nothing but the truth, Sorry, dude. Ryan. I enjoy. What they do so it's so many things that they do well because when we talk about different looks and and different and the versatility and what they can do, that's only one part of it. But I think their superpower is uh, is like I said in the first pause or the second pause, whenever it was we were talking about it, is their ability to rock you in to the transitions smoothly. Mm-hmm. They are so sophisticated in how they transition; it's just a different grown man type of feel to it. To me, when I look at Opeth and I look at other bands that are in the progressive metal industry or genre, I'm like, this is just a different sophisticated level of doing what I like because I like progressive metal now. And I see the way that they're able to rock you into these transitions seamlessly. I'm almost pissed off that some of these transitional grooves that they transitioned us into Later, I'm pissed off that that wasn't different songs. It could have made those different songs, and I could have just the end, the way that they ended that shit. That could have been a totally different song, and I would have been like, "That shit is nasty." They could have did a three minute song on that last groove, and I would have been like, "Man, that shit is the truth." They didn't need to give me twelve minutes on it. So I feel like the only the only feedback piece of feedback that I got for Opeth, in my opinion, is all my opinion. It's not truth. 
My piece of feedback for Opeth is, man, save some of them transitions for a song, Thank man. you. That's it. I ain't got nothing. <laughs> Ryan covered exactly what I was going to say. Thank you. What is it, five songs on this? Yeah. Or no, eight? Or eight <laughs> songs? Make the shit not ten songs. Yeah. <laughs> yes, man. I, I agree. I, I just think their, their ability to transition um, so smoothly, man, it's just... It's just cerebral, man. And it's just a sophistication level of how they execute it that is just, it's just a, it's, it's just a thing man. of beautiful. Just a thing of beauty, man. That's, That's it. beautiful, man. I'm done. It's just one of those bands that is just like, you put you put this on your playlist. You just got bragging rights and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, you know about Opeth? Like, it just stamps you. Like, yeah, this motherfucker right here knows what's going on with music, man. They are phenomenal, man. I don't know if this is going to be a, a song that I go back to. It's on my playlist. I don't know if this is going to be a song I go back to often, but man, when I go back to it and I have the time to just sit and listen and relax yeah. and I'm not ripping and running. Cause a lot of times, man, I like shorter music cause I'm, I'm ripping and running. I, I just know where I'm at in my life and what's going mm -hmm. on and long songs like that. I just, it's hard for me to find time to just listen outside of like maybe long car trips and things like mm -hmm. that when I take trips. So that's, that's probably why this won't be remotely close to a song that I'm going to play consistently, but man, this is a work of art, man. They, they were incredible with so many different things. Man, the transitions were amazing. I mean, every little detail. I, I can't even count how many cool um, different things. Even at the end. Da, 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 that da, was da, nasty. Da, da. It reminded me of Numa when it was da, da, yeah. da, 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 da. It was just so nasty. The creativity in, in um, these time signatures and just how they were. Seemed like they almost squished it up like every... You know, every three riffs, it was yeah, like a change up in how up. the yep. drum and the guitar was playing off of each other. And then the keyboard ambient, the atmospheric ambience in the background with the keyboard, the spooky nature, you know, that they had at the beginning, the heaviness that they were able to give you. I mean, what did, didn't this song give you? Provide, right. This was excellent, man. It's incredible, man. And I love that you said that you don't know if you, 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 don't know if you can go back to this song a lot. I don't even know if this song is making my playlist. Oh, wow. Yeah. But I love the song. It's amazing. I love, I love what's happening in the song. Let me rephrase that. And that's why I'm like, dude, it's just a level of sophistication that you, that it's just second to none. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. But I don't know, I, this is not my favorite song by them. And I don't know if I, I don't see myself ever listen to this, listening to this song religiously. I just don't. But that doesn't mean that they weren't getting busy though. Yeah, this let's, is let's, not, let's not confuse what we're saying. You know what I'm saying? So uh, they got, they, it, it was just an incredible song and they really gave you a lot of, um, they lo a lot of looks and with the transition. Now, again, Drumming, if, if they would have yeah. took these different parts of these songs um, that they had, if these were, if this was three different songs, then now, now all three are playlists. But because it's one song and I just, it, I, I'm just not listening to this song. I don't love it like that, but I love the different sections once they got into the transitions i love those sections so if those are if this was three different songs yeah you, you spoke on it you spoke on that time frame earlier ryan and i was just like thank you because it's just like it's difficult to just sit and just listen to anything at this stage of my life for 12 minutes i don't care who it is and how great it is it's yeah. just a, it's it's a certain threshold of length and i'm just yeah. like ah and i know in reality even though, because it's different when we listen, me and Ryan were talking about this. Like, sometimes we'll do a reaction and we're so impressed by a song. We'll be like, playlist, yes. And then reality hits. Yeah. And all the other things that we you have going on, business ventures outside of this and family and this and that comes into the equation. You want to listen to music? It's just tough to sit down. And um, and basically how we were programmed in the era we grew up in. It's just, we just didn't grow up with a lot of 12 yeah. minute long songs. In reality, it's difficult to sit with this. Yeah. But there was just so much that I liked in this song that it's hard for me to say I just I have yeah. to. It's almost yeah. like I, I'm obligated to like, yo, playlist. So we'll see how this performs. But man, on a long car ride, if I just want to just be taken away and just get let this play and let it rot while I'm just in my, my driving zone, um, I have a feeling that this is gonna do do some work. Shout out to everybody that requested this, and that was uh, you know, that was like really, really, really focused on getting us to do it because it was worth it, man. It's phenomenal. <laughs> it was. That's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed that, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And also, guys, check out our Patreon channel if you're interested. It will allow you to get exclusive access to our content. The link for that will be in the description. I'm George. Daz Ryan, Lost the Biggest. We out.